Hey everyone, it's me, Bella, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And this will be my first video, and I'm very excited. I'm also very nervous, and I'm not used to this, so if I look in the viewfinder a lot, I'm sorry, like, I mean, it's like I'm human. Today I'm going to do the Ride or Die Makeup Challenge created by Jaclyn Hill here on YouTube. And I will be showing you guys my favorite products and why, what I use and why I love them. And to those of you who have been asking me what products I use every single day, this is exactly what I use. I have a lot more, but these are like my favorite, like my absolute ride or dies. I love them so much and I'm happy to show them to you. So just keep on watching. First, we have primer because you need primer so your makeup can stay all day and ensure that it doesn't, you know, get all gross and cakey and nasty. <laughs> First product that I have is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It is so good. I use this for all over my face because to smooth out all my pores so I can have a good canvas to work on. And but this doesn't keep me as matte, but the rest of my face is very matte. I'm only very oily on my T-zone. So for my nose and my T-zone, I use the Makeup Forever Skin One Equalizer. It's so good. It keeps you matte all day. Um, it's really drying, so that's why I prefer to use the Smashbox one all over my face because it's like, it's a pore filling one, but it's also very hydrating and that's what I love about them. So these two are my dream team primers. I love them so much. Next, we have foundation. So this is like, it's relevantly new. It's the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. I am in the shade 6.0. It's mostly matte and it's very full coverage. It's the foundation. It stays all day, like all nighter. <laughs> um, I love it, but sometimes it can be a little bit too drying for me. And so to balance that out, I use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Warm Beige. Um, this foundation, even though it's oil free, it, keeps, it gets me like a little bit oily. So I like to put this one like around my T-zone, like I said. And then this one, like um, on the outer perimeters of my face, what they look like. Next, we have concealers. I feel that every single brand has a concealer, and you know, some are good, some are bad, but these are like the ones that really stood out to me, especially recently. I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light, and then the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer also in the shade Light. <laughs> if you have yellow undertones, then whenever products come out with the shade Light and concealers, those are usually like the best ones, like light or sand or you know, but then again, it's a preference. I like to be a little bit highlighted under my eyes, so that's why I choose that shade. I like the Tarte one a little bit more because it's full coverage and it does increase. Like, what kind of concealer is full coverage and does increase? You know what I'm saying? So it's so good, and it smells like roses. Like, I don't feel anyone. I don't feel like anyone talks about the smell, but it smells like roses. It smells so good. <laughs> um. I use the Tarte one mainly under my dark circles so it can cover it more since it's more full coverage. And the Too Faced one I use it like like close to like down here where I have redness and like you know my T-zone where I want to highlight those areas. This one's a little bit more um, creamy and like it's called a naturally radiant concealer and it's very radiant. It's like high, it's really hydrating and really good. But yeah, I love these two so much. Do you need you guys need to go out and get them if you don't have them? Okay, and to set all of that, including my whole entire face, I have the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, and the shade Translucent Extra Coverage. And this is so good. It keeps your it keeps your makeup on all day. And it prevents your under eyes from creasing, even though my concealers are good with that. <laughs> and um, I really like it. And it's like, it keeps your under eyes really smooth and like your face like matte, but like have like a silk satin finish. And it's not too drying and it does not give me flashbacks. So if you do photos, this one and I heard the Laura Mercier one, which I still have yet to try. Like everyone, everyone's tried it and I haven't. So I'm going to plan on using that. But so far I love this. Next is bronzer. 
Oh, by the way, I'm showing you guys the products and the way that I apply them to my face. So, you know, you don't get confused and you know how like I apply them in which order and all my steps. Okay, so my all-time favorite ride or die. Okay, I have a lot of like products that are two because I can't choose between two. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are like that, but I just like I have two that I just love equally. But maybe just one a little bit more. I don't know. <laughs> I can't make up my mind. Um my first bronzer is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. Everyone has this. Everyone loves this. And if you don't, you need to get it. It is so good for every single different type of skin tone. You know, maybe if you're a little bit darker, this wouldn't, this wouldn't work for you. But it's very buildable. And um, it's really pigmented. So if you're a lighter complexion, like remember to use um, remember to use a darker, a darker. Remember to use a lighter hand because it can go not muddy, but like it can go very pigmented very fast so keep that in mind when using this okay <laughs> another bronzer that i really like is this Too faced soulmates bronzer 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 <laughs> this Too faced soulmates bronzer and the shades ross and rachel and this is what it looks like it's so cute okay like it's in like a little heart Too faced packaging is to die for i love them so much i love all of their products there's not one product that's like not good you know what i mean just that brand they kill it with the packaging and like with the product itself and i really i got them i got you the reason i chose the other one was because the hula bronzer is not limited edition but this one was but i feel like i didn't not want to tell you guys so i'm telling you guys anyways because i absolutely love this bronzer um yeah it's so good it's so nice and it has like a what's it called it has like a luminous finish so there's some gold shimmer in there and the blush is so nice i mean i love it so speaking of blush that's a good transition because next we have blush <laughs> that one's a really nice blush also my favorite ride or die blushes okay also another two-faced one it is the love flush blush in the shade baby love this is such a good everyday wearable br brush <laughs> wearable blush and it'll go it'll go good with so many different different skin tones if you're the type of person where you don't like a lot of orangey blushes or like very very pinky blushes this is like a good one i like blushes but i don't want to be i don't want people to be like whoa she has blush on you know what i mean i'm more of like the bronzer and like the highlight <laughs> So I don't like to put a lot of emphasis on my blush. This one, it's good every single day. It's so, and it lasts, it's a 12 hour wearing blush. And it like lasts 12 hours. Like, it's so, shade is so pretty. And packaging, I can't get over it. Like, next, onto my favorite part. I think everyone's favorite part. If you don't like highlighting, then who are you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's all up to you. But personally, my favorite, all-time writer that I highlighter that I've loved for so long is this Becca Champagne Pop. I mean, obviously. I feel like everyone talks about this. Everyone loves this. Do I even have to explain? Do I even have to explain how good this is? Everyone talks about it. It works so many different skin tones as like it's a champagne-y gold. I'm, I'm speechless. Like highlight. It's so pretty. I really like it and I love it with all my heart so um, this is like the first highlight I've ever fell in love with so it has a special place in my heart and like I said I got a lot of doubles in this video so I also have this this is new so I mean I would say you need it but then again like nah you need it never mind this is the new new it came out in the summer towards the end I'm pretty sure they're still online yeah they are limited editions, so get them. They are the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and Mineral Blush in the shade Prosecco Pop as the highlight and Pamplemousse as the blush. Yeah, <laughs> it's so. Look at this split pan. Oh my god! Like this. Okay, this blush. I love it, but like I said, I don't like a lot of blushes that are like 
out there so it's kind of out there for me but if you if you use a light hand running it's so nice so the highlighting here oh my god that's another reason why i mention it i'm i mainly use it for the highlight prosecco pop as you guys can tell it is a new day my camera died on me yesterday and it was late so the sun was already going down and i just decided to try to put on the same makeup and put on the same shirt just for the sake of this video i didn't want to put like a non-good video out so we're still gonna film that's how much i'm committed to this okay, i totally forgot to mention this when i was mentioning bronzing um this is the anastasia beverly hills contour kit in the shade light to medium one of the shades right here like the the pinkier shades are broken right now because i actually dropped it i used the warmer shade right here and the cooler shade i used i mixed them both at the edge to contour my cheekbones for eyebrows i used the again anastasia beverly hills brow pomade in medium brown this stuff is so good i already this is my second one i've repurchased it's my favorite for doing my eyebrows making them look on sleek and everything it looks it looks super nice and obviously i'm like i don't really like natural brows i like them to look like you know really good so this is what i use that for this is modern renaissance eyeshadow palette by anastasia beverly hills and it's the one that just came out in the summer. It's one of their first permanent collection palettes that they've ever done. Shout out to Norvina for doing such a good job. Look at these shades. These shades are right up my alley. They, they have like two beautiful transition shades that I love so much. And the shade Red Ochre and just these right here, they're to die for. They have these raspberry tone shades and these orangey shades and like these two shimmer shades and this brow bone highlight. You need this in your life if you don't have it. You need to go out and get it because it is so worth it. And you can use this eyeshadow palette for many of your looks and this is why it's in my ride or die video. Next for lashes, my favorite mascaras are the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Benefit Roller Lash. I use the Too Faced one for volume, and so my lashes can look thicker and more ba ba boom. <laughs> and for the roller lash, I use them to separate my lashes and give them length. So it's like two in one. This is why I love them so much. For eyeliner, I used to be in love with the Kat Von D Tattoo Trooper Liner. That was my favorite ride or die for years until I ran out. Well, not years, but like a year until I ran out. I love that one so much. And I have yet to repurchase a new one, but for the time being, I've discovered this Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner. It's so good. It's in the black shade, obviously, and I use it for my for my liner every single day. Like it doesn't it doesn't move all day. It doesn't smudge. It's water. I'm pretty sure it's waterproof. It's waterproof on me. Like I like it lasts all day, and it stays super matte black. Lastly. We have setting sprays. First, I have MAC Fix Plus. Um, this is so good for for, a for like to spray this all over, all over your face before you applying your highlight, and also to add pigment to your to your eyeshadow. So you just spray a little on the brush, and then you dip into your eyeshadow, like preferably a like a metallic or like a sheen eyeshadow to give it like a more. Mm, and for it to be more opaque and really just like beautiful and stunning and also to set at the end of your face not it doesn't set it but to like to merge all the powders together it's so good for this and then my setting spray like my actual setting spray is this urban decay this D slick makeup setting spray I use it for I use it to control my oils because I have oily skin and it ensures that my makeup will last all day and stay super good and amazing and I love it. Lastly, I have lips for lips. These are my I love liquid lipsticks. Rarely ever do I use like actual lipsticks anymore unless they're like the MAC ones, which I really love. And those are really good. But like, especially now at the current moment, like this whole summer, I met Jeffrey at Warped Tour and I got three of his lipsticks. I have Androgyny over there in my vanity, 
but Celebrity Skin and Gemini are my two favorites. The Gemini is a pinky, is a pinky nude. Here, I'll show you. Watched it for you. That's Gemini. It's like it's it's like a brown pinky nude. It's so beautiful. And so, but Celebrity Skin. This one I use every single day. I have it in my backpack, in my purse. It's this brownie, it's this brownie nude. It has a little hint of like, not red, but Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks are the most comfortable to wear on your lips. They do not crack, they don't get, they don't transfer, and um, they're absolutely comfortable to wear and they're, they're stunning. <laughs> That was it for my Bride or Die makeup products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments or on all my social media video ideas that you want me to do. I will do anything you will happily request. If you want to know like anything else about me or tutorials or anything like that, just let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and follow me on instagram at the beauty by bella i will see you guys in the next video bye